What's up YouTube, we're back again. And today, what I want to do is I wanted to do a review on a product that I just came across as I went to the store. Now, frequently, I always go to Home Depot and get new tools and stuff to do various projects around the house or do contracting work. Uh, but today, uh, when I went to Home Depot, I came across something that I had never seen before um, until today. And I just had to have it um, and try it out. And this is the Milwaukee 26 inch splitting ax. And this thing is coming in, it's retailing uh, for about um, $47. You can probably round up to about 50 bucks after taxes and everything is considered. And uh, I just thought it was really cool and I just had to have it. Um, comes with this uh, nice blade protector here. As you guys can see that, take it off with that cool little uh, twist locking mechanism to, to keep the blade uh, in place. Excuse me. Um, it has this nice forged steel with a beveled edge head on there. As you can see that from the side, I'll show you up close. See that beveled edge up there for easy splits. It has this beautiful channel in here, so you can kind of carry that at this axe like this, or uh, when you're walking around, gives you another means of carrying it. This beautiful ergonomic edge, and as you can see, it's not open like uh, they they did most of the axe, so it's very well balanced. Um, so the handle is not light, so this is uh, reinforced uh, steel all the way throughout uh, the handle of this thing, all the way down. And uh, according to them, um, this is uh, abrasion resistant handle and everything like that. So uh, while it says that this is a 20, uh, 26 inch uh, splitting ax, um, in actuality, um, what I measured out was about 25 and a half. And so uh, no big deal, 25 and a half is, uh, is no big deal. And uh, I would give it about 20, I mean, I'm sorry, I would give it about five and a half to six pounds, uh, the split, the splitting X. And so, yeah, man, uh, I bought it. Um, those are my first thoughts about it is it's beautiful, man. It, it all, it's almost reminiscent of, uh, not a rose gold, but, uh, just kind of like an off gold color there, man. It's very aesthetically beautiful. Um, it feels good in your hands. It's nice and small and compact. So if you're the type of person that likes to carry uh, a splitting ax or um, a mall or anything inside of your vehicle, um, this seems like it would be very compact to be able to accomplish something like that. And so, yeah, um, I wanna take it out and I wanna use it and uh, and see what it, what it feels like. Um, but before we go out, as uh, per usual, uh, we wanna make sure that we have all of our equipment, our PPE in place. So uh, when we get out there and we start splitting, um, I'm gonna be splitting in my yard here, so I'm not gonna be far away from the house, but we still wanna make sure that we have the appropriate PPE because that's, that's the, the best uh, means of doing things, making sure that you have all of the equipment uh, set and ready for you. So uh, when you go out there and you do work like splitting using a chainsaw and everything You have the appropriate PPE on so you're nice and safe. So uh, We got us a pair of safety glasses when we go out there. We we'll just have to clean those um, We have us a glove clip right here that we'll put on our belt loop uh, We got some gloves here like mechanics gloves or uh, what have you here with the with the leather give you a, a better grip on your axe while you're cutting um, today it's uh, about 29 degrees outside so uh, when we're doing work like this outside we want to make sure that uh, we're comfortable but we're not too hot because if we're too hot we're going to sweat and then we're going to get cold and uh, we're going to end up with a cough or a sneeze or a runny nose um, but naturally, being out there is going to cause a runny nose. So we have a handkerchief, and we have a little bit of neck, a, a little neck gaiter here. And I'll put all of this stuff inside the the links below if you're interested. And uh, I have a brand new pair of Red Wings that I'm going to have on. Of course, uh, these are the Red Wings originals. They have the 
steel toe in them. Ouch, that hurt. And we'll be wearing this, these things out there. And since we're gonna be uh, outside, of course, I'm recording on my cell phone, but since we're gonna be close to the house, uh, we're going to set up, uh, we're gonna carry with us a bale fang radio, two of them, one for inside the house, and then one on my person. So in case something happens, if I crack my ankle with the ax by some weird chance, if it uh, shanks off a piece of wood, hits my ankle and I break my ankle, or if I cut myself, then um, of course you can utilize your phone, but if you can radio to the house in a situation or emergency like that, then you, know, you can reach one of the kids or anyone who's available in the house while you're uh, in the backyard or um, in the backfield. This is just another way of communicating if you can't get anybody to pick up the phone. So we turn these on. Power on. 16. It's 16. Power on. 16. Copy, copy. So we got those on the right channel. We'll leave one of these in an appropriate place inside the house. We'll take one with us. Uh, we'll go and we'll put together a small med kit and then we'll go outside and we will test this access. All right, so we're back inside. So uh, first, let's uh, discuss something that's very uh, important during re a review, and that's a user error. Um, so I was out there and I was cu uh, cutting a couple half pieces there and quartering them, them up. Um, but uh, one thing that I was not using was an elevated platform or a chopping block. And so uh, with that chopping block in, in place, I could have probably got a little bit more leverage and uh, better hits on the wood that I was cutting. So I do, uh, I will give credit uh, when credit's due, probably would have did a lot better if I had that uh, chopping block. One thing that I did notice uh, immediately in regards to uh, this, this 26 inch, um, uh, cutting axe is that I didn't really like uh, the blade it just didn't um, it just didn't seem uh, sharp enough for me and so uh, that's obviously a problem that can easily be fixed um, overall though um, I like it um, it coming in at uh, around six pounds five and a half six pounds um, it doesn't seem like it'll be too taxing on your body if you had to carry this thing around um, yeah, you have more options when carrying this. Of course, that channel that's in uh, the top of there. Um, ergonomically, it, it felt really good on my wrist and everything like that. Um, I had a chopping block, but it was very hard for me to find cords this year. So uh, 
I had to take away from obviously um, every resource that I had until I could I could uh, get some more wood or, or uh, find somebody who would allow me to go out and uh, get wood from from them on their property. So um, yeah, overall I like it. Um, I don't think it's a I don't think it's a bad buy. Um, I don't think it's a bad buy at all. I think the price point is good, especially considering that it's uh, it's uh, Milwaukee, uh, that brand. Um, I know uh, some of their stuff can be a little bit on the expensive side. So considering that uh, this product came in at around 50 bucks um, for the the name brand, I think that it's a decent, a decent price. And so uh, that's it, man. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed, man. Please leave your comments below. Any suggestions, uh, any positive feedback that you have for me, um, any constructive criticism, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.